Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to disable text selection using JavaScript or CSS. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet, which is style.css. Include a script file, which is script.js. We need one div element here. Also, we need two paragraph elements here. And here we'll have some random text. Just copy and paste it. Great. Now go to style sheet. Select div element. Text align will be center. Select p element. Width will be 50%. Display will be inline block. Padding will be 10 pixels. Border will be one pixel solid black. Save it. Now open this file in the browser. And this is the output. Now, as you can see, if I want to select, I can select a text like this. Okay. But I want to disable it. Now, there are two approaches. One approach is using CSS, and the another approach is using JavaScript. So, first we'll see the CSS approach. Let's go to Google. To disable text selection using CSS, you can make use of user select property. Let's Google it. So the moment when you will go down here, you will see. The example is also given here. You can select this one. You can select this one, but you cannot select this one. Okay. So just simply copy this part paste it here so you need these three lines just to support other browsers in case of ie mozilla and this line will work absolutely fine in case of chrome but in case of older versions you definitely need this piece of code so make sure you always have these four lines when you want to disable the text selection using css now just take this class and paste it here great now go to browser Let's try to select this first paragraph. So you can see it is completely disabled, but we can select this one. So this is how you can disable text selection using CSS. Now let's see a JavaScript approach. Let's add a ID here. So make it test. And here we'll make use of document.query selector. We'll select it by the ID and we'll add the event listener that is select start okay this event will be triggered and the selection will start we'll get the event object here now there's a method in the event object that is prevent default so it will prevent the default behavior which is text selection save it go to browser now let's try to select the second paragraph you can see it is completely disabled also because we are using css here is not working so this approach is for javascript people and this approach is for css people so based on your requirement you can go with the css approach or a javascript approach i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day